Alright, what's going on guys? I'm going to start a new series covering Vinland Saga Season 2. And in this series, I'm going to recap the episode itself, along with telling you the differences between the manga and the anime. So with that said, let's get started with Episode 1. Alright, so in Episode 1, we actually start off with anime original content for the first 10 minutes of the episode. We meet a man named Einar who did not show up in Season 1, and he's cutting down some trees. Now he claims that he's cutting down the trees in preparation for protecting his home. Home. Apparently it was burnt down to ashes and had to be rebuilt. Now while having lunch with his mother and sister, we find out that his father died protecting the village. Now like I said, this is all anime original content. And in the manga, we never even meet Einar's mother or sister. So the fact that we never meet these two is kind of an indication to the manga readers that they're probably not going to last too long in the anime. And sure enough, the village is raided and we see Einar's family hiding in the woods. Now Emma, Einar's mother, instructs Loda to run and follow the river. And while they make their escape, Emma's hit in the back with an arrow. She instructs Einar to run as Loda makes her way back. The soldiers close the distance and Emma tells her son to live. Loda is then taken away by the soldiers, but she doesn't take this lying down as she cuts one of them. Unfortunately for her, the soldier retaliates and kills her on the spot. Einar, unsurprisingly, is seething in rage, but he's paralyzed by fear at the same time and can't do anything to evade his captors. And then after this opening sequence, we sync back up with the manga again. And in case you're wondering, this is chapter 55 of the manga. We then see a brief poem by Odin, as a ship is seen transporting slaves that Einar finds himself a part of. Now one of the women gets sick, and they decide to toss her overboard. After witnessing this, Einar is repulsed by what he sees. Now once they make landfall, the slaves get cleaned up. Einar decides that this is his best opportunity to escape, and he does so. However, being in a new land with no food or job, he's got to resort to stealing food. And because of doing this, he gets caught pretty quickly. And as a punishment for escaping, he's made an example of in front of the others, and he receives several lashings. Now while potential buyers look over the slaves, we see Leif Erikson again. However, he's not interested in buying a slave. He wants to find Thorfinn so that he can set him free. Einar is then bought by a man named Keitel who owns a vast amount of land. And upon arriving on Kaido's farm, Einar is immediately reminded of his homeland and of his mom and sister. Kaido then introduces Einar to someone we are quite familiar with, the now long-haired Thorfinn. And that's the end of the episode, guys. And what an absolutely great episode it was. The animation was on point. I love the additional material with Einar. It really added to his backstory. And it really helps explain some of the rage and resentment he feels going forward in the story. So yeah, I'll continue doing this series going forward in the future. With each episode, I'll point out the differences between the anime and the manga. And uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side.